Hi everyone, welcome to the third video of my Civilization Beyond Earth Let's Play, playing as the People's African Union. So at the end of the last video, I had a decision about what tech I was going to go for, and I was also undecided about what affinity I was going to go for. I've counted up the Fraxite and the Xenomass again in between videos, and I believe there's around 40 odd Fraxite and about 30 odd Xenomass that's visible. So it's kind of pushing me back towards the taking Fraxite um, and Supremacy as my affinity. Also I've realized that I don't actually need as much Titanium as I thought I did to get these Supremacy type satellites. You need one for that one and only one for that one. You actually need a couple of Petroleum for each of them. So yeah, I can get a decent amount of satellites with that amount. Uh, it's not an awful lot of petroleum though, actually. But, um, yeah. Supremacy is becoming more of an option for me. If I find a ton of Xenomass coming up though, who knows, I may change my mind again. Right, so, uh, next tech. Let's uh, get rid of that as well. Um, so, which one am I going for? Ecology wouldn't be bad. I should probably start to, uh, to get pioneering as well. I actually need to research that to complete one of my quests, I believe, as well. Um, yeah. Okay, so we go for that. And I think I should end the turn. Okay. Right, so there's a manticore over here. Being a pain. Come over there. There is actually Xenomass. Is it on? It's not on Miasma, so a nest shouldn't spawn there, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a nest down there. Looks like this continent may extend more over here, actually. More than I realised. When do we get our next Virtue? 11 turns. I think I will get that free Settler on the next one. I'm planning on settling there. It's more than three tiles away from Fort Barca, so I can actually settle there. It would get a ton of frac site within range of that as well. I'm still planning on settling up there eventually and over there and around here somewhere to get that titanium. That's probably the order of uh, the cities I do. And one over here maybe. Um, but we'll see. So I think I'm not going to bother trying to find that bit of fog over there. I'm going to bring a soldier back towards the capital. Protect the future settler. Uh, this explorer, right, that's my asthma, so I don't really want to end up in that tile. I'll leave that there and get the pod next turn. And I shall end the turn. And we're starting to look like we're going to have many issues. Adept Blue has uh, been discovered. Now, Adept Blue, there's quite a bit of discussion about this on Civ Fanatics. They've actually nerfed this since the preview build. It used to give you a free tech once a trade route completed to it, but that's no longer the case. I should check out my trade routes as well. Available routes, we've got one to Fort Barca, and I'm not sure where uh, a depth... Right, there it is. So it's nowhere near us. Uh, so I'm not going to be trading with that anytime soon, since you need to be able to uh, see a route between them and not have miasma in the way. Um, so let's grab that. 70 energy, nice. Um, not going to shoot the aliens for good reasons. Uh, that can continue down here. No sign of a nest, but um, there's a lot of aliens around here. Okay. Hopefully there's not a nest there or they're going to attack me now. Um, there. And I think that's it for the turn, so next turn. Okay. Freeland. That means it's Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Paul Australia. Right, so say goodbye for the time being. Um where is he in regards to us? He's probably on a different continent. We could be on our own. I'm still expecting someone to land on here though. I'd be surprised if we end up being on, uh, isolated, but who knows, it's possible, maybe. Don't know, I haven't played enough of the game to know. Um, right, this explorer. 
I think I've explored everything up here. Uh, so there's a tile there. I actually want to come and pay a visit. Let's move that there. There is a nest there, so why didn't they attack when I was in that tile? Um, so I can't easily go over there. There's three more Xenomaths, never two. It's a really close to the amounts of Braxite and Xenomaths. Um, uh, let's go there. I think I might get attacked there, but next time, but I gotta try and come down here. I think. Um, let's go there. Okay, next turn. Well, they haven't attacked me. Good. Okay, and that's the last of the factions. Sputnik, Slavianska Federacja, pozdrawiaje tebie. Okay, right, that's General Vadim Kozlov of the Slavic Federation, uh, not an extra from Starship Enterprise. Uh, let's bring... These explorers are pretty much useless. Well, I've got two expedition sites that are right next to the nests. And um, I can't really explore anywhere more. I, there is a... I think I'll keep on bringing it down here though actually that's I need to wait until the alien gets out of the way a soldier can escort unit in a bit for your eyes only that's related to covert operations so I need to get computing to get that uh, production it looks like we completed the recycler I think it was so what am I gonna go for now um, trade depot. Right, in four turns I probably want to make that. I think I might get another soldier out actually. In the time being. Uh, I haven't really got enough time to complete any of these. Clinic. No, I think I start in a clinic actually. Right. Uh, next turn. I'm going to be getting a new settler soon, so I'm going to need extra help or for that in a bit anyway. That is probably on the same continent as us. It looks as if he might be trapped down on the peninsula though, which is good. And there's quite a lot of aliens down here as well. More Xenomass, but not a huge amount. Um... Probably almost as much Xenomass as Fraxite now, though, that I can see. It's a lot easier for me to get the Fraxite, though. It's all in a big clump up here. Ah, uh, that soldier. Can go up here. That's Explorer. Yeah, let's bring it down here. I might get that um, sea access tech in a bit so I can bring them overseas. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, okay, let's, uh, next turn. The only place I can trade to is Fort Bar, so this trade depot won't be that good, but you do get extra production from making it. Um, we're within two tiles of that nest. I'm surprised they're not attacking us there, actually. I'll... If they're not going to attack... Well, if I move there, I'm within two tiles of that nest as well. I'll just keep there. Could lose that unit. Uh, let's... Fortify, is it? There. And here... There. Okay, next turn. Clearing forest. Extra production for my gun. 
Yeah, we're gonna lose that. I think I'd have lost it if I'd have moved it there though, anyway. Okay, so I might want to make a new explorer unit a bit. Right, yep, more Xenomass. Okay. Um, right, let's uh, end the turn. Probably is a good idea for me to settle in this direction to try and block off Kozlov, though, anyway, actually. Even if I were to go Harmony. Uh, yeah. So I still think I'm going to settle there. That will bring two Xenomass and a ton of Fraxite in range. And I do need to get towards that, because uh, I'm not. Well, there's some there, and that's it. Okay, so I'll probably cut off that part. That northern part of the continent was settling over here first, and then maybe a settle. Well, it's going to be hard to settle down here with all the nests. Um, right, let's enter. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Okay, so we've got pioneering. Uh, that means we completed that, so we need to build a colonist. Well, we completed part of the quest. Um, and quest decision, what goes around. It's going to be take too long to read all of that. This is for building recycler. I I think I'm going to take the work speed, although food would be pretty decent actually. Especially because there's a lot of desert tiles. Um, yeah, I'll take the work speed. Right. Supremacy on level 3. Roads and mag rails don't cost any energy to maintain, so you want to spam roads if you're going supremacy so quicker workers get done the better that will certainly help with it um, research planetary survey to be able to cross the water would be a bad idea there's a quest for computing that certainly would be good as well frack site you need to be able to improve that and you can't do that until you get there for observatories I don't really need the launch complex for um, Satellites, yeah. Uh, that would be good if it's going into deserts. Fence. Mm, not yet. I don't think I need it to keep the bugs away, arguably. Um, I think I'm going to come up for genetics. Um, I need to get that to get an affinity. Yeah, right. Um, let's move to there. Should be safe, kind of. Uh, next turn. Okay, it gets done next turn. Full bar, so what do they give again? Energy and production. I could trade with that early on. If I'm going to trade with them, I'm going to have to get my trade depot up quickly, though. I think I will get it up now, because it will give extra production. Um, yeah. Okay, this explorer, I'll move. Does that count as zone of control for the sea dragon? It looks like it does, actually. I don't want to move it there, because it would be within two of the nests, so I'm just going to have to stay put with that for the time being. And right, I think that's end of turn. Not too long now for that. Okay. That's sea dragons in the way. Right, let's move that there. So you can see a bit more of that. I can't remain within two tiles though, or I'm gonna get in trouble, so let's bring that to there. And uh, I don't want to shoot the aliens up here yet. Why is my wall? Right, that's still working. 
Um, next turn. Okay. Let's move that one to there. Didn't reveal anything more, I think. Let's move it there. Right, can't do an awful lot with that at the moment then. And uh, next turn. Is that on my asthma? No, it's not. Right, it's just here and there. Uh, develop a virtue. Right, I think it's time to get the uh, free colonist. Right, and quests. Right, so now I need to found an outpost. Outposts are early form of a city or a base, basically. It takes a while. It's absolutely useless early on, but then it takes a certain amount of turns to actually turn into a full city. So it's a bit of an issue, that is, actually. Can be, with aliens around, definitely. Um, so that tile is what I want there, I think. Where I'm going to go. Um, get the Frank site. Get that tuba. I'm probably going to put a city there later on. So that would get that one. Get a coral. That would get the Frank site. I don't think I'm going to have a city that would get that resin, but it's not the end of the world. Probably will have a city there. Probably have a city there as well. And I'm going to need another city around here to get that frack site. And that would get all of the frack site. So, all 40 odd of it. The, getting the Xenomass is going to be a lot harder. Right, so this colony then. So, which tile was it again? It was that one. Right. Uh, move there. I better escort it. Don't want to go losing that. Uh, that tile's been done there. Haven't checked the city tile for a while. Let's look that down. What food is it? Um, how many is that? One, two, three, four. Oh, they're both down there. Right, I'm heading off towards that fruit tile then, I think, with the worker. Right, and next turn. Let's go there. Uh, that's come over here. Turn. I'm wondering if if there's miasma in the way of this route, I'm not going to be able to send a trade route to it. I think it might be okay though actually, I think there's a route around here, through the mountain pass. It doesn't matter if you settle on miasma as well. You're allowed to do that. Uh, right, that's healed up. Uh, there's not much I can really do with it, so I'll just keep it there. That can make a plantation. This can continue its journey. There. And end turn. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just put that on alert. I'm not sure if it'll alert me next turn. I might be. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Uh, that can't go there. And next turn. Choose production. Right, I'm pretty sure I can trade to this now. That's no miasma, that's no miasma. That isn't, that isn't, that isn't. So I'm going to build a trade convoy next, I believe. Right. Still there. Okay. 
Genetics is done in a turn. Let's do that. I think I need to get to computing or to get the ocean. You access. go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Uh, computing gives me boats. Banamusa. No idea what that is. Down there. Um, so genetics is there, and that gives me some extra health. Those buildings will. Let's go planetary survey. I can also go to get the algae tiles done then. And I'll probably go computing after that to get the gunboats to go and find the other civs so I can trade with them. Um, okay, unit needs orders. Right, I guess I can wait until I get planetary survey. Uh, that is coming over here. And next turn. All I want. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay there. Alright, that fruit tile got done. Um, let's get some generators up, I think. So that's grassland. I could either make a farm or a generator here. So, yeah, I'll get the generator on the go. Get some more energy. We're actually losing money now. It's not good. Um, let's take one them. Right, so I think I'm going to take a minute to double check. This is definitely the city site I let's want. Uh, found an outpost here. Right, that found in that outpost means we have completed a quest. So we get a free soldier unit right next to it. Now, an outpost, it basically grows... Um, basically fills all of the culture tiles around it and once that is finished it turns into a full city I'm not sure how many turns it takes I think it's about 15 16 uh, certain things affect it though like your health for example you can see there we get 20% speed towards outpost growth you can also send trade routes to it that speeds it up and I think there's other ways you can speed it up the Cavathan Protectorate actually gets a growth bonus towards their outpost as well, I believe. So they're twice as fast as that faction is. Um, right, so we've got a soldier here. I think I should just protect this with my soldiers, probably. Is that my asthma? No. Right, good. And, um, right, I think uh, we're done for the turn. So next turn. It's going to... It's not going to affect my health until it becomes an actual city, so I probably want to start making some health buildings to uh, uh, prepare for that, arguably. Right, Blood Bank, that's a quest decision for uh, clinics. So, out of the options, you've got hit points or health. I think health is definitely the best option in most cases here, so... I'm going to take that. And that quest is also complete. Uh, right. No real new quests there. And I think oh, we've got a unit to do. I'm waiting on that still. It's like stayed there. That can't fortify. And that can fortify as well. Okay. I have counted up the Fraxite and the Xenomass again. I think there's one difference in it. I think we have 41 Fraxite and, um, well, all of those are 41. And all the Xenomass across the whole continent is 42. But, hmm, I still think I might go Supremacy. Firebase 1 has been discovered. All of... it'd be a lot easier to get the Fraxite. Um, right, so let's wait in. And next turn. Another camp. Camp Cascade. Uh, just waiting. And next turn. 
convoy. Next turn. All planets possess inherent value, and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be a priority. Okay, so what tech do I want to go for next? Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to get ultrasonic fence in the not too distant future, in case aliens come near to it. Um, I'm not sure we've seen the scary land unit yet, so I'm not going to spoil it, but some of you might not know what it is. Um, computing. I think I'm going to go computing. That will complete a quest, and it'll also give me access to the gunboat. There are, I want to get alien life forms, I want to get ecology, there's quite a few different ones I want to get. Getting that first affinity level of supremacy, if I go in that direction would be a good idea. Or alien biology, but yeah, I'll go computing for the time being. It's going to take a long time to search that. Now I want to bring this unit out to sea, but I don't. I need to keep away two tiles away from the nest. So I can't go there, and I can't go there. So I want to go there, but the sea dragon's in the way, so I'm going to have to wait. Uh, that convoy. So let's establish a trade route. I can trade to Fort Barsa or this new outpost. Should I trade to Fort Barsa? It won't go away, that's the problem. But I could always destroy it later. And it would be quite useful actually to trade it now with it now. It'll give me an extra production and energy. And we definitely need extra energy. Um, I'm thinking of keeping it for the time being then. I'll probably settle around it. I'll probably, well, maybe there I'll settle next around that tile to get the titanium before the uh, Russians, uh, Slavs do. I would kind of block him off if I settle there as well. And then settle over there maybe. Yeah, let's trade to for Barca. And he's actually... Act they get extra tiers, so when the trade route completes, you get more on the next route round. So, that'd be good. Uh, let's get another trade vessel as well. I think I can trade to that. So, next turn. It's important for me to trade with that one first, because otherwise it could have left. Stations come and go if no one trades for uh, right, so I think I can move there now. Now, I don't know if it's going to be safe. The sea dragon still might attack me, even though it's not next to a nest. But I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, right, so we've got a generator. I need to get a worker over there, so I might actually build a worker in there. After that's done. Um, let's get another generator up, I think. I could buy that fungus tile, but money's a bit iffy at the moment. So, let's generate that. Okay, so next turn. Uh, luckily it hasn't attacked us. Or maybe it wasn't lucky, who knows. Uh, right, so let's go there. Right, zone of control meant it only moved one. Uh, let's end the turn. Let's. Right, I've got to keep away two tiles from that nest so I can go there. Right. I'd really love to find other sieves, but quite a while away. Yeah, we were at the top, but the arc is just taking over. This difficulty level may be too easy for me, possibly, but well, I've selected it now. Uh, there's a nest there, so I need to keep away two tiles away. And next turn. Okay, I'll move on to that coral and then I'll move away from it. So it's five petroleum, I'd love that. Let's keep on coming down here then. Um, right, next turn. I don't believe I can go into their borders. Not without a treaty, anyway. Um, 
Right, that generator's done. There's not an awful lot to work on over here now. We are earning a bit of money again. Let's... I think I should bring this worker over to this new city. Get some tiles done over there. The population's very high over here. Yeah, I'm using all the good tiles already. Next culture tile goes there in 15 turns. Uh, production... I've done that, haven't we? Um, I've just made a trade vessel, haven't I? I'm not sure. Laboratory would be nice. I need to get my health up, probably, though. So let's go for Site of Nursery. Uh, that can trade. Why can't I trade with that? There shouldn't be any my ice running away. I'm sure I could trade it earlier. In fact, I know I could. If I built a ship instead, yeah, I have. All right, I'm an idiot. Um, I meant to build a trade convoy. I built the wrong one. So I can't do anything with that at the moment. Uh, right, change production. Yes, I build that. Right. Right, that's pretty stupid. Okay. Let's keep on coming down here. I'm gonna make the odd mistake, uh, especially in a pretty much my first game. I mean, I played about 60 odd turns in uh, another game actually, so it's not really my first game, but I gave it is. Um, that trade vessel is useless, as far as I'm aware. Hopefully, a uh, station lands on the coast over here, maybe, at some point, and then I can use it. You can only use two per city, though, uh, at the start. Um, right, I think it's probably been gone half an hour-ish, actually, so I think I'll call it an end of this video here. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to like the video if you've enjoyed the video. And apart from that, I'll see you next time.